Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Start, Sit, and Touchdown Predictions. This one is all about the wide receivers. I'm going to go game by game, and I'm going to give you you know the starts, the sits, and uh, the touchdown predictions basically for every player as we run through the games. Um, I did miss the San Francisco-Arizona um, game thanks to uh, both Halloween and, um, and some internet issues at my house, so I apologize for that. Before we get rolling, please, everybody, two seconds of your time, two clicks, a like, and a subscribe. Um, the quicker we become a YouTube partner, the more uh, features, uh, production features we get unlocked, and we're really eager to improve the quality of these videos for everybody out there. Let's just start. We have Houston and Jacksonville in London. London. DeAndre Hopkins is a start, gets in the end zone at least once this week. I have him about projected at about 1.25 touchdowns, so I think more likely one than two, but could get you that second touchdown. Kenny Stills, uh, he burned me last week, but I'm going to say he's a start again. I think he does not get in the end zone, but I do think he is uh, worth uh, the start in terms of catches and yardage. Now, assuming you're in a PPR league, uh, Jacksonville, and these projections, by the way, for everybody out there, do assume PPR. Uh, Jacksonville, uh, DJ Chark, I have him at a 19. Uh, that is a touchdown, definitely, possibly two. I have him about at 1.3 touchdowns. Um, and then I don't have Chris Conley, but here's the thing. Uh, D.D. Westbrook has been questionable. I have him getting in the end zone, D.D. Westbrook. If he doesn't, um, and I had him last week, but after he went out, Chris Conley snagged that touchdown. I think Keelan Cole might have even scored last week. If D.D. Westbrook can't go, I would start Chris Conley. If he can go, then I start D.D. Westbrook. Um, I think one of those guys will get the touchdown, more likely Westbrook than Conley this week for me. Chicago versus Philadelphia. I don't like the Chicago passing game, although I would start um, Allen Robinson this week. I just wouldn't start anybody else for Chicago. I do think there's going to be one touchdown. I think that one touchdown will go to Allen Robinson. For Philadelphia, um, I start Alshon Jeffrey. Pay attention. You know, I don't have, um, if Deshaun Jackson plays, I do not have him as a start. But again, that's projected on a lot of Nelson Aguilar um, data, you know, in these terms of position groupings and play calling and all that. Um, if, if Deshaun Jackson plays, I would I would insert him in your week uh, this week. I'd play him in daily fantasy football. Uh, Alshon, uh, I'm, yeah, Jeffrey, I think, gets in the end zone. Um, I don't have anybody else projected to get in the end zone in terms of wide receivers for Philadelphia. Um, so, uh, but I, like I said, I would start Jackson this week. I would take that risk because uh yeah, it's just kind of a fringe start, and I think Jackson would outperform him if he plays. Indianapolis versus Pittsburgh. I don't really like the passing game. I don't think anybody for Indianapolis in terms of wide receivers gets in the end zone, though I do have T.Y. Hilton as a start this week. Uh, for Pittsburgh, I think Juju Smith-Schuster could get in the end zone. He's the only start player that I would have for uh, for wide receivers for Pittsburgh this week. He could get in the end zone. I think it's more likely. I have him at about like a .6 to .75 projection. Um, so that's not great, but I think he's worth the start, similar to T.Y. Hilton. They'll get enough catches and yards to make it worth your while. Minnesota versus Kansas City. I know Thielen is still uh, questionable here with that hammy, that hamstring injury, but I have both him and Diggs as starts if they play. Um, if Thielen doesn't play, I think most of the catches are just going to be redistributed out to Dalvin Cook. And I think, uh, actually, if Thielen doesn't play, I actually like Alexander Madison more in fantasy football. So... There's that little pearl of wisdom for everybody. But, um, you know, I think one to two touchdowns for these guys. I think Cousins does throw for two. I would have them split uh, between Thielen and Diggs this week. So, again, both are starts for me. Kansas City, uh, I think Tyreek Hill is a start, and I think Sammy Watkins is a start, and I think McCole Hardman is a start. Those three, I think Tyreek Hill could get in the end zone. I have him at about a one-and-a-half touchdowns. I don't have – Sammy Watkins is more about .75, so more likely to get a touchdown. But basically, I think they're going to be probably three th passing touchdowns for Kansas City in this game. Um, Tyreek Hill is projected to get the lion's share of those touchdowns. But again, Hardman, Watkins, and, uh, and Tyreek Hill for me are all starts. Um, that's going to be an interesting game, that Minnesota-Kansas City game. Um, it's going to be very close one, I think. So the, uh, the Jets and the Dolphins, I'm looking through the Jets. I think you could start Robbie Anderson, and I think you could start Jamison Crowder. Jamison Crowder is a no touchdown. Uh, Robbie Anderson could get in the end zone, but I think this is more about uh, catches and yards for both of those guys. Now, from my and that assumes Sam Darnold plays. I know he's been on the injury report this week. Uh, for Miami, I think you can play Devontae Parker, and I think... Um, yeah, Preston Williams, I think that's a risky play. Maybe Daily Fantasy. I don't know that I would put him in my lineup. But both of these guys are projected to start but not catch touchdowns. So there you go. Uh, Washington for, uh, versus Buffalo. Uh, nobody in Washington, even McLaren. So I'm sorry. I just um, I just 
don't think he's going to get in the end zone this week. Buffalo is going to play, just lock this team down, I think, defensively. Now, Buffalo, I do have John Brown as a start, and I do have Cole Beasley as a start. John Brown in the end zone. Cole Beasley as catches and yards. I don't have him getting in the end zone. Detroit versus Oakland. Uh, Kenny Galladay, definite start. I think he gets in the end zone probably. I have him about a one and a half, 1.6. So I guess if you flip a coin, whether it's one or two, but I think he definitely gets in. I actually like Amendola and Marvin Jones this week not to get in the end zone. Uh, well, I think one of these guys is going to get in the end zone. I would say, I would suspect that Marvin Jones is the guy to get that touchdown. Uh, but I think Amendola is going to be more integrated in this particular game plan. So I like him this week as well. For Oakland, Terrell Williams, definitely a start and, and um, going to get in the end zone. And um, look more for the tight ends outside of that. I don't like Davis. I don't like Renfro to get in the end zone this week. Um, I like these guys going forward, but not this week in the matchups. I think it's more about the running game and the tight ends and Terrell Williams um, from my point of view there. Tampa Bay versus uh, Seattle. Um, yeah, I think you got to start both of these uh, stud wide receivers for Tampa, Evans and Godwin. Uh, I have Evans getting the end zone once. I have Godwin at about one and a half. So I think he's more likely to get two than Evans is this week. Uh, for Seattle, you start Lockett and you start DK Metcalf. I think Lockett gets in, DK Metcalf. I think he probably gets in, but doesn't get a lot of catches and yards. I haven't projected to, to get there. So maybe if they integrate him more in the rest of the game plan, that would be cool. But I have him as a red zone threat this week for sure. Cleveland versus uh, Denver. I don't, you know, these projections for Cleveland are bad. I would start OBJ um, and I would start Landry this week. I just think that Cleveland's going to play outplay their projections. I think they're ready. Um, they had a tough first half of the season. I think they're ready to get it going. Now, Denver's defense is playing really well. I was high on them coming into, coming into the season. There were some injuries. They weren't playing so hot. Now they're playing really good. Um, aggressive football on that defensive side. Uh, they should not be overlooked, especially in fantasy football on the defensive side. But um, yeah, I, I think I just I just have a feeling Cleveland's ready to pop off this week. So there you go. Uh, Denver, you know they're they're not starting their quarterback. I think Cortland Sutton's worth a start, uh, but Flacco's out. So I'm just I'm just low on the uh, the Denver Broncos' passing game this week. You have Green Bay versus the Chargers. Um, if Devontae Adams plays, he's a start. If he doesn't, I think it's Valdez Scantling. But I only start basically the the primary wide receiver for Green Bay this week. I stay away from like you know uh, Allison and the other guys there for the Chargers. Uh, Keenan Allen's a start. And I stay away from Williams and everybody else there. So Keenan Allen, I think, will get a touchdown. And I think that's the one touchdown that Rivers will throw. If he does get another touchdown, it'll probably be to, like, to Austin Eckler or something like that. Uh, New England versus Baltimore. I like Julian Edelman to get in the end zone this week. I like Philip Dorsett to get in the end zone I have him more likely to catch two than one touchdown passes. So um, I had a similar projection on him last week. If you watched that game, um, it was a slop game against Cleveland, and he had a couple opportunities where he could have actually gotten touchdown passes. They threw his way. I think it'll be similar this week against Baltimore. I think that's the matchup that uh, New England's going to try to isolate in the uh, in the passing game. For Baltimore, um, Hollywood Brown, I believe, will be back. Um, I, I have him on my team. My projections don't like him. They're playing New England. I don't love the matchup. I'm going to sit him. My projections back that up. Um, I think in the passing game for Baltimore, I think you're more likely to get uh, value out of both tight ends, especially Mark Andrews there. Dallas versus the Giants. Uh, Amari Cooper's a start. I think he catches two touchdown passes. Uh, Gallup, I think, is a start. I don't know if he gets in the end zone, but I think he gets enough catches, yards either way. I have him at about a half touchdown, so I could go either way on that. For the Giants, um, if Shepard plays, I like him. I called him Sterling Sharp last week. Sterling Shepard, if he plays, um, I think he is more likely to get a touchdown. I think one touchdown goes to the receivers this week for uh, for the Giants, and it's most likely Sterling Shepard for me. So there you, there you go. That takes me through the wide receivers. Again, I do quarterbacks, uh, running backs, and tight ends as well. So check out those videos, the start sits, and uh, the touchdown projections. We do them every, every week uh, for every player, every team, all that stuff. Please like and subscribe to these videos. If you think I'm missing on something, please comment. I'd love to talk to you about it. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on another, on another episode soon. Thanks, everyone.